subscribe the channel please like and sub subscribe the channel this is the place where you can learn uh, anything related to the microsoft intune or endpoint manager or any mdm solutions or any relate related to the mobile or any techniques okay in this video i am going to say you about the important updates right so as you know this microsoft is deprecating so many things right the legacy and launching new new technologies right so in this video i have just you you see in in my screen right the microsoft will actually deprecate this intune network access control service api on december 31st 2023 so this year earlier they have announced june if you see uh, the article from microsoft uh, let me open you okay earlier they have announced that they will they will deprecate this api in june 2022 but they have extended until this year december so if you are using azure graph api with any network access control like for example cisco eyes or any other network access provider you have to use microsoft graph api not the azure graph azure graph api so and this is actually important thing so the problem is why they are deprecating this intune network service api this year because let's talk about the cisco eyes identity service engine NAC. okay there are many out there so you can search on and you will see for like if you have integrated your cisco eyes NAC with intune based on the uh, Wi-Fi MAC address and if you running Cisco IS version 3.0 or earlier then it will no longer be able to obtain registration or compliance informations from Microsoft Intune MDM system right why because Microsoft Intune they once they will they will deprecate this api then you have to use udi udid based queries okay because this api supports the azure graph api supports mac address and once actually deprecated you see here all queries from eyes to intune will need to utilize microsoft compliance retrieval api not this not intune next service api so microsoft compliance retrieval api currently only support a global grid so global unique identifier as the unique identifier but it is expected to also support mac address based query from approximately the middle of 2023 so they are saying so you have to microsoft will decommission the intune nac access control service api this year because this api uses mac address and uda based query once it will be deprecated then all queries from cisco isc to intune will it will utilize the microsoft compliance retrieval api so so in order to use this what you have to do you have to upgrade your cisco isc 3.1 right with intune so that they will fetch they will use this microsoft compliance retrieval api and able to query the mdm using the grid rather than the mac address so you see the requirement is you have to 
upgrade your Cisco RC to 3.1 and later and and if you are using VPN or Wi-Fi you have to must use good best or MAC address okay but you have to use Microsoft compliance retrieval URL these are the actually I will link this um, uh, article in 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 our uh, in my video so that you can find it what is the workaround and what is the solutions right so I just want to inform you about this deprecation and this is important with the deadline right so if you are using Cisco IC with Intune for Wi-Fi or VPN make sure you're using the Microsoft compliance retrieval API before 31st of December okay so that you will not see any impact on your endpoints i hope you have learned something new try this method and keep your knowledge up to date with this channel till then thank you have a good day signing off